What's up guys, what's going on? Uh, if you noticed the opening photo for a little clickbait, that's for science purposes only, science. As you can see, KB <laughs> is not here today because she is in Turks and Caicos. Hey guys, it's me in Turks and Caicos and I'm not on the show sadly. But I decided that I'd send you guys a little message and still come in and win the Super Bowl. If you're not following her, She'll there's definitely let you know that she's there. There's a lot of pictures yeah. from Turks and Caicos, so enjoy those. Anyway, uh, hey, let's go. The Breakdown, <laughs> every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m., I am Tone of My Voice. This is the camp out to my right. Yeah, yeah, it's me. This is a nice setting. I like this. Ah, uh, here we go with this bullshit. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just kick this off with Friday. You got Nike Air Max Plus uh, in a triple white colorway. Oh, that Vapor Max miss. So I don't... I'm a big fan of the Vapor Max, I'm not the Vapor Max, the, the TN Plus, like this shit's dope. Yeah, it's my phone. Alright, I got it. Don't you have to look at me like that. <laughs> but the Vapor Max shit, I still can't get used to it. Retail for 190 If you need a triple white shoe, this is you. If you need a triple white shoe. Yeah. I actually like the silhouette. Uh, the one thing that throws me off is the is the midsole connecting to the upper part of the shoe. It looks like it like, doesn't fit. Like it, just, it seems a little out of place <clears throat> on this and the black pair. More so the black pair with the colors up top because it's mm. like all black and then the black from the wrap. But other than that, triple white is chilling. Chilling, whatever. Chilling. Nike LeBron 15 Hallwood Classic retail for 185. It's just trash. Wow, I like I like the blue. The blue is not bad. I don't like the Nike. Yeah, I, I don't like that big ass Nike billboard yeah, on the yeah. heel. I you don't. know, I like. Yeah, I think I'm all about like the minimalizing or minimalist on the logo. But I am a fan of the LeBron 15s ever since I've seen photos when they first dropped. But it's just this colorways. It could have been better. Preferences, people. Preferences. Uh, next up, you got Nike KD10 in this Oreo colorway. It's just right. There we go. Reach over 150. If you need a ball shoe, go ahead and get it. Uh, next up. Nike Air Max 98 Triple White, retail for 160 Perfect shoe for your girl if she's a nurse or a doctor. Wow. It is. It is. Triple White. It's, it's, you started with a dig and then you moved up to doctor. No, if it's a nurse or a doctor, if a hospital setting, if you need an all-white shoe, this is for you. A I, dig. Hey, hey. You didn't say that about the fucking Air Max Plus. I should have, right? No, I'm just saying. Let's go why. back so I can say it over there as well. Whatever. Triple White. Not cool. Dope shoe though, like uh, the silhouette is dope. 98 Spire, it's it's almost springtime. I mean, not really, but it's getting close. How so many, if you want to start stocking up on your white shoes, do it now because it'll be about another hundred. How minutes. many white shoes can one person have? I mean, like, are you a nurse? Season? No. I mean, if you're a nurse, there's like a whole repertoire of white shoes you got repertoire like that. Uh, Nike Air Force One High FDNY. For me. Uh, you got three different shoes. Ha ha ha. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. KB is right now texting me. What is Tone wearing for the sneaker battle? Why can't she just wait and watch I, I the just show? I don't get it. I just don't understand. She, she, listen, she likes being part of the show. Uh, Nike Air Force One High FDNY. You got a high, a mid, and a low. Fire. Uh, they got, yeah, they are kind of clean. And even the material looks kind of nice. Fire. I like the, the highs. I can't fuck with the mids. I, the lows are cool. They all have a jewel swoosh? Yeah, they all have jewels. Ooh, that's kind of nice. You got the, the Fidney emblem in the back, too. The fire department of New York City. I thought you said Fendi. I was like, bruh. No, no, Fidney. They call it a Fidney over here in New York. I've, I've never heard that once and I've lived here all my life. Oh, well, I, I know a lot of people that work for like the, for the Fidney. Yeah, for Fidney. For real? Uh, yeah. They, that's what they refer to, Fidney. Like, I work for Fidney. FDNY. That's, that's just how. You, you can't relate because you don't know these people like I do. So, shout out. Do you think they do that in other states? No, definitely not. Let's, let's try LA. LAPD. La <laughs> it will work. It will it's work. It's, uh, anyway, yeah. So the colorway fire material looks pretty dope. Uh, I'm a fan of this mid. I like this mid a lot. Why do you like mids? I can't fuck with it because the strap is always in the way. You could always just undo the strap. Yeah, but then it's like fucking everywhere. If you'd have tree trunk ankles, you wouldn't have to worry about that. True. I need that foundation. But I need the. I, yeah. so I get the eyes. It it's pretty support funny. my foundation. It's pretty funny. I just watched the last week. I was, it's funny. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Adidas Dame Dollar. Uh, Rito NA. There's two colorways. There's a white with a cream and a white midsole. Uh, and the other one is just like gray with a, some blue in the prime. That, that's, that's, I'm, I'm not even going to speak on this. I'm just going to keep moving. Oh. Uh, next up, Air Jordan 8 Valentine's Day. Uh, a couple little detailing effects on this. Uh, loves me and loves me not on the inside of the strap when you open it up. And the heart shape inside of the chenille patch on the tongue. Uh, yeah. Retail's 190. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's red. 
It's just whack. It's, it's just red. trash. I, I do like the detailing effects. I'm not going to take they that They could have done so much better. No, There's well, so many different like panels what? you can fuck with on a Jordan 8. Like what? What were they going to do? What other colors? Not make it all red. It can have like a little bit of pink, different shades of pink, different shades of red. Like that monochrome shit, man. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I, think, I think this is just easier for them. Find it in the outlet near you. Definitely not going to sell out. Wow. For real, you could get them on the retail, just be patient if you really like these. Yeah, but wait till next Valentine's Day, you'll get them. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Saturday, we got the Nike... Oh, wait, yeah, take, take, take this. Shut up. I'll, I'll take, take this one. Uh, Nike PG2 PlayStation. Uh, I was very um, hyped for this shoe, I guess you could say. And then the more I saw the unedited photos, the less hype I got. A lot of good detailing effects on the shoe itself. Uh, PlayStation logo. Um, on the tongue area, the controller X O, whatever the square, whatever it is. That's what the controller. All across the aglets on there, the controller actual shape. Well, it looks like an Xbox shape, but eh, not really. Anyway, the controller shape is almost at the bottom of the aglet, across the U throat or would be U throat area. Um, and the heel, like in the back, the plastic, I think it has, it has like all, X's, has, yeah, has the all squares, the, the circles. Shit is fire. I mean, I, I mean, the, the con conceptually, it's very, very dope. I just think that the unedited photos were like it's sitting in the galaxy. And it's all blacked out, looked really good, and now like that little bit of blue tint kind of fucks me up. You think people just want this because it's a PlayStation Club? That's why I want it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Fuck this shoe, though. This shit is trash. Wow, I, I could get it, and then I could use it for my performance review. You could do that. Imagine breaking somebody's ankle. I know what shoes I'm gonna wear for my performance review. Something sturdy. Something high top well, for no, my cankles. No shit. I don't know how you're gonna get them around there. I don't yeah. know how you could walk with your chicken legs. Wow, chicken legs. It's just some. You don't wobble like a newborn deer when you're walking. There's no foundation there. No, all right. No, Moving on. Magic this is bad game. <laughs> <laughs> Magic stick, Nike Air Force One High VIP retail for NA. Shit is fire. Uh, I thought they called this shit like the highlighter pack. Why is it Magic Stick now? This shit is weird. I know you like Vote. You're a big fan of Vote. I, I don't fuck uh, with conceptually, it. Conceptually, I like this shoe. So it's based, <laughs> it's based off of a, like a nightclub theme. So the strap is actually like the Tyvek wristband you would so get. So go back to like your, your partying days. Like. <laughs> no? The magic stick, like glow sticks. And <laughs> don't ever associate a magic stick with me, all right? <laughs> Yo, chill out, Magic Mike. Just, just do me that favor. Uh, anyway, so there's a couple of different three uh, three M effects on the shoe as well. So I'll, I'll post a picture as you guys can see. VIP, pretty fire. I, I like the way the shoe looks, and like like I always say, I'm not really a big fan of highs. If this is a mid, I'd be all over it. I probably won't cop. But uh, they released in Japan first, and this weekend is the actual like other Nike retailer. Release. I do like that the strap is like the wristband strap that you get when you go to club and shit, but. Other than that, that, it's just trash. The guy likes it's a good detail. Like it. Uh, oh, 3M. Ooh, 3M. Whatever. Good. You can take Nike, it. Air, Nike Air Max Plus 97, Nike Air Max 97 Plus, both retailing at 175 each. It just doesn't look good to me, this hybrid shit. It seems like all these brands are doing hybrids. You got the 97 upper with the, the TN Plus bottom, and then the TN Plus upper with the 97 <sighs> midsole. I just. The colorway is dope. But the shoe the silhouette just doesn't I, I, look appealing to me the, at all. The problem is, like, you're so used to seeing it with that other silhouette that it kind of, it for me at least, it throws it off just a touch to see it so mm -hmm. askew as far as the midsole goes. I think it works better with the 97. Yeah, like, I, if I had to pick, it looks more smooth the, and sleeker. The plus with the 97, I think the 97 uh, outsole or air unit is just better in general. Yeah. You know Compared what I'm saying? Compared to the, the TN shit, I, I don't like it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Well, it's it like up. you're so used to seeing it that it's kind of hard not to. Um, they also have a re-release of the Futurecraft 4D on the Adidas Confirmed, I believe. No, not confirmed. They have a different app for this one. Oh, they do. Yeah, I don't know why. So they make you download another app that's gonna crash and not work at all, so you can sign up and not get shit. So this is they could have just kept it on the confirm and just deal with the bullshit headaches. They, they probably like, realized that confirmed has been shit since. Uh, the first easy turtle no, dog? after after the three pack. The three pack was I think the last time that the app was decent. I know it was never decent for me. I never hit oh. on the confirm app, so it was been bullshit this whole time. Anyway, I, I left that up there, but it's just <clears throat> Air Jordan Nine All Star for LA retail for one ninety. Black, white, white, cream midsole. I don't. I think it's like one. somewhat translucent though. The midsole. It's like a milky, two percent yeah. milk. Milky. Yeah. yeah like, mm. This shit is. Trash though. Homogenized, like, I get you, yeah. How is this LA? Like, I don't, whatever though. 
We can move it on. I don't really care. While we're moving to that, we'll continue the conversation. So also this weekend, you have the um, the Justin Timberlake Man of the Woods pop up happening as well. Hmm. Uh, so I'm assuming they're going to re-release some of the threes from the Super Bowl. Yeah. Which was well. Straight. How do you feel about that? What's I, 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 that. Okay, so obviously I like the lighter colorway and not the darker colorway of the threes, as you can Yeah, see. I don't like the darker colorway. So, like, I, I'm not really, like, fiend out for black cement threes. Like, I, I fuck with the swoosh on the threes. Like, they look dope. Yeah, it's it's the swoosh if that they're using. If though. it's done properly. It's the swoosh that they're using. That they, they went with, like, a different aesthetic on the swoosh. And uh, I don't really know if I agree with the swoosh, I guess I could say. And also, I don't know if I agree with the idea of the swoosh based on my own ideas that they're only doing that for trademark reasons yeah. and trying to keep somebody else off of the shoe. So like it, it, it kind of feels like they're, they're taking loopholes to get you to like a shoe. So you don't think this is like the actual sketch that Tinker yeah, had from I, the beginning? Like he had probably like a bunch of different samples of the Jordan 3 like sketched out. Yeah. And maybe that was one of his favorites, but like he didn't the Air get Max Zero. Like, uh, okay. yeah, like, like you can make a fucking was, sketch that looks like it's mad old. That was like, a dope. I, I don't, like I don't agree with that whole like people will buy, well, People will buy anything, which is <clears throat> kind of shitty, but at the same time, like, I won't feed into it. You know what I'm saying? If there's good influence behind it, people will buy a shitty product. Yeah, uh, I guess. I mean, if you like it, you like it. I'm not trying to knock you for liking it. I just, like, I don't like the wool being pulled over my eyes in any sense. You know what I'm saying? So, like, instead of me just seeing it, it's like, oh, a new three came out. Like, I'm seeing it as they're changing shit in trademark, so maybe they're not paying Jordan for certain parts of it, or maybe Taylor Or not paying his, do, paying his wife. Or, or, or whatever it is. Like, there, there's... Ex-wife. ...real reasons, or other real reasons why they're... Do, nah, whatever, give a fuck. We give a fuck. That's why they're watching. Ah, I feel like I talked about it too much, right? Guard. What was it, thoughts? No, yeah, is that, Oh, yeah. After thoughts. Don't fucking touch me. You're right. <laughs> uh, Guillermo Gar Garduno. Uh, KB for clickbait. So... You got, you, go. it. you got it, buddy. <laughs> uh, so I forgot to mention the Humble Joints last week, so I just want to bring that up. If you guys were looking for them, they did drop last week, super late. But they were on my list. I forgot to put them in, so somebody had mentioned it, so my bad on that. Uh, we're going to go back to I Love Walmart Moms. I'll take the first one. It'll take a second. What a fucking great screen, uh, screen name. Uh, first of all, shout out from the BX. That's at the end of the statement. But Question. Excuse me if I'm clueless to who sets resale prices. Hmm. Uh, is it some dude somewhere <clears throat> sitting in his room guessing what people will, will be willing to pay for a certain product and people just follow or how does that work? Uh, great show as always. Salute from the BX. Uh, I, I think we might have addressed this before, but let's just get right back into it. So theoretically, people or resellers that I'm familiar with will usually go straight to flight club prices or whoever puts the shoe up first that's what it and comes out and see what it sells for so like you can see it on ebay and it's selling for some dude bought it for you know five six hundred bucks <clears throat> and then you'll see comparative prices on all other places that sell it mm. it just matters who sells it first and what it sells at and then also the hype so if there's mad hype on it like these threes that dropped from super bowl perfect example um you saw pairs go up immediately for a thousand get bought for a thousand and then you saw more pairs pop up going just higher, exponentially higher. I saw a pair, I think, who, who posted it for 30,000? Somebody posted it for 30,000. So, somebody posted, I think it was uh, DJ Clark Kent posted on his IG a picture of a uh, request for 30 grand on one of like the pay sites like StockX or, or Goat or some shit. In theory, that's what most people do. They'll go to see where it sells first, see that little green sold button or sold price and then go, okay, this is what I could work with and then work off of that. So it's either Flight Club, eBay, StockX, whoever has a sold listing for a price that looks like it's being, you know, used by everyone, then they go off of that. You know who controls the pricing for resale and like early pairs and shit? You. If you agree to pay three fifty for a shoe, the next person's gonna be like, oh shit, I can sell for three hundred or three fifty. Doesn't really come down to the resellers or these stores. Well, a lot of people test the market out. Like I know a few people that post up like a bunch of different listings of the same shoe. Yeah, yeah. And see which one gets grabbed up. So let's say, for instance, I'll post up these Justin Timberlake threes on eBay. I make five different posts. One of them's for a thousand, the other one's for twelve hundred, the other one's eight hundred, the other one is whatever. Whoever buys it for that, that's that's where you're gonna start selling it at. Like it's test out the waters. That's just my my personal experience dealing with like the resellers and me doing it like myself, like trying to figure out like the next shoe that's gonna drop, like say like Black Cement Three is like coming out like in two weeks or whatever. And people are like, oh shit, how much are they gonna sell for? This and that. And if some people get early pairs, they pay fifty over box, so they're gonna sell it for hundred over from what they pay. So they pay two fifty 
They go for three fifty early, three twenty five. So once the, re the you know general release drops, it comes down three hundred, two eighty, whatever have you. It all comes down to the consumer that people are gonna buy from the resellers. Resellers just touching out the market, see who pays the, what. The only problem with what you're saying is that even a consumer is going to look to see what people are paying. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if they keep seeing competitive prices <coughs> at, you know, $600 and they're all within that range, someone's going to buy it for that price. Oh, they'll try to get a pair for, like, 500 Oh, people always want to pay their price. They'll, no they'll, see, they'll see offer, uh, that little offer, scratch yeah. out thing, whatever the fuck it is, so they can make an assumption on it. But, like, realistically, like, once, once a purchase has been made and... I could be the seller. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I could sell to myself if I really wanted to. In and then theory. people would feel like, oh shit, like oh the shit. Somebody bought his shit. Yeah, like exactly. So like, if you're smart enough to do it and smart enough to try and work the angle, like psh, you can make the price yourself. Yeah. Truthfully, if you're the only person that has a pair of shoes and a certain fucking size and nobody wants to buy it, you set like, your own price. And they're like trying to haggle you and haggle you. Sell it to your fucking friend or whatever the fuck, which is realistically yourself. The mm. Money comes right back to you. It doesn't really make a fucking difference. So you lose 30 bucks, but then you sell the shoe for $1,000. Like, yeah. who's the winner? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So David Blackman, damn. There's a tie between Mike and Tone. Shout out Just Dave, by the way. My question for next week is, what brand needs to come back strong this year and how can they do it? Your question, your answer. Which brand would it be? I'd say Saucony for sure. How would they do They're it? They're shooting the camera. Why are you shooting the camera? Shoot your shot, bro. Uh, uh, how would they do it? Unless glue. Unless <laughs> glue. Better materials. Get better influencers. Do more collabs. The GR shit is, is a hit or miss with the GR shit. They need to bring back like the old shit. Like the, the running pack. The one that had like the, the green. Toe wrap. The blue. The gray. The red. And different colors. They got to come back to like giving out premium material for GRs. Less glue, better collabs. Don't saturate the market too much. That's what I think. Well, you just said more collabs, and you said yeah, exactly. more collabs. But that doesn't mean like each collab is like, collab like ten thousand pairs of each one. Like, don't saturate this shit. Like, all right. Uh, I'm shooting for Asics as always. Because they they dropped the board this year. Uh, I think for the anniversary. It was a big issue for me that they didn't do anything for the Jelly Five. Um, I, I feel as though the brand itself has. A, a decent repertoire where they can retro a shoe, leave a shoe, bring a shoe, drop a shoe, and continually circulate throughout their their uh, archive or catalog, and still keep shit fresh. So they have a lot of good silhouettes <coughs> in the archive. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I like I like the sloping shape of the ASIC. The silhouette is just nice to me. Yeah. And no matter what shoe they put out, it typically has it. Except for like the GT2, which kind of kicks up, but. Outside of that, like they're realistically all in that aerodynamic. Kind Some of the field. the GR gel, like three and gel, like five, they look, they come up a little don't bit. Do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. They, they, yeah. A lot of them are. There's no banana boats over here. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of banana boats for A6. Sure. They, uh, so anyway, uh, I think the the one thing that they can really do is focus more on cultivating their their core following. Their core <clears> following, <throat> I feel, is very crucial to the sneaker community. Uh, ASICs following and uh, the trend of people who like ASICs tend to post more creatively than a lot of, a lot of other brands or uh, I don't know how like do, do you get what I'm saying? There's more influences for ASICs. Than... I feel like there, there's a core group of community people influences. based in the ASIC realm that do more things for what they love which are ASICs. You know what New I'm Balance saying? as well. They have a lot of people in their own in their own right that would promote ASICs without anything. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like they have a big push without putting all that money there. Yeah. They have a big social media push Yeah, from their consumers. And it could be higher too, but they, they, they've they been tending to stray away from like the core following of what they have and trying to, you know, make something new or innovate to something a little bit different. But in doing so... They want to bring new people into their brand and shit, yeah. but... I don't think they're going the right route with it. That might be a little confusing because I was trying to get that. They might have to bridge the it. gap with like a collaboration or some shit. Like take somebody that has no nothing to do or with ASICs or like somebody that's outside of that fashion community and like bring somebody in and like destroy like a collab and shit. I'm like, oh shit, people that are fans of this influencer or this store. Well, that's the whole point of a collab. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they got to have like a really great collab to do some shit like that. Like how Nike did with Virgil. Like a lot of people that are like Virgil fans since he's been with his other previous uh, companies or whatever he worked for. And now that, 
you know, they got the Nike collab and it was like, oh shit, all fight blew up. Everybody wants all fight now. And then like everybody wants these collabs. And like they're bridging that gap right there. Like a lot of people mm. want those shits now. So I, I just think yeah. like they need a better influencer. Get Kanye to do a fucking ASICS. Martel W, two questions. Do you ever find yourself not looking forward to upcoming drops? So you focus on drops from a few years back <clears throat> that you missed. Uh, what company makes the best GR? I, I logistically always have something that I want that I don't have, which is kind of, it's kind of crazy. But I'm always looking for a shoe in the back, like on Facebook groups or, or Instagram or like people that I talk to, like we'll, we'll talk about shoes and like something like 252 is something I've been looking for for a very long time. I looked for leatherbacks for a really long time. And whenever that opportunity popped up to get a pair of leatherbacks, like I took it. So in theory, I'm always trying to find a shoe that I missed. It's hard to get like those kind of collabs back from like the old Ronnie and Asics collaboration because like, they were so limited. Ago. Yeah. And like as soon as you find your size, like sometimes you'll be finding like in between sizes and like damn, like I wish I was eleven and a half, not eleven or not a twelve or what's the eleven and a half. So once you find your size, like fuck, do you really want to miss out on it? Because how long will it be until you find that shit again in your size? Do you do that too? I've I've tried with the the Miamis and the Knicks. Okay. The ECP pack, like I really want that pack, and every time I find it, I had that one bid on eBay. I got fucking outbid it, like the last fucking five seconds of shit. I was like, fuck, and it's yeah, hard for me to find eleven and a half. Yeah, gotta play the game, dog. I always find size eleven and size twelve. I'm like, fuck, dog, like too small, too big. It just sucks. But what company makes the best GRs? New Balance, Theodora. Uh, the the age old. Come on. The age old debate. We already know who wins this debate. New Balance Deodora, best GR. Well, listen, there's there's more people that have New Balance. That's fine. <coughs> I have no problem with that. I like what I like, you like what you like. That's what makes the world go around. They should do a Deodora off-white collab. No. Bridging the gap, two different worlds. Keep that man's hands off my shoes. <laughs> That's just gonna sell out every fucking time. We don't need no we don't need no Virgils over at Deodora. What else we got over here? Uh, that's all. Oh, that was it, right? There might be one more, one more question. question. There you go. Ernest Mariano, <clears throat> first time viewer here. Which is a great lie. show. It's a lie. It's a lie. No, from your whatever. <clears throat> With the resurgence of legacy brands from the late '80s and '90s, like Champion, and his numerous collabs with Supreme, the recent pop up for Tommy Hilfiger '90s big logo and Ralph Lauren Snow Beach. <laughs> which legacy brand are you excited to have a revival or even a collab with? Personally, hoping for Vision Streetwear. streetwear to make a, re a mini revival or collab. Uh, I really love, I used to love Tommy Hilfiger back in the day. I was a fucking low head like <clears> a lot of people were. I didn't do the bear thing. I might have had one t-shirt, like it wasn't like my thing. Tommy Hilfiger was my thing back, and Nautica. Those are like my two things that I fuck with all the time. Champion, Nautica, and... I only wore Champion to the gym, and like my like... I fucking love Champion Chilling around the house stuff was like Champion. Champion hoodies all the time, like when I was a kid. She right. was dope. The cone, the cone uh, hood, she was fine. I know what you're talking about. Not the white one, though. We'll that, never get the white one. That was the house gear. Oh, well, yeah. that was, that's not a good look for yeah. The white one was always on sale because nobody ever bought this shit. Like, I, I, I didn't get really excited about the Snow Beach release. Yeah, like, I did. The whole retro shit. I didn't care either. It's good for the resale, for the flip. You buy a $250 jacket, you sell it for $1,000. Like, whatever, each his own. But I wasn't fucking excited. Like, oh, shit, I need a Snow Excuse Beach you? jacket. Or good for the flip it is good for the flip like you can't take this guy anywhere that's what it is that's why a lot of people bought this shit to resell it um so yeah i didn't care about the low stuff me either um, i like the, the polo bears like the original yeah shit. like the bear stuff i fuck with that shit yeah you don't yeah. i don't no? care you don't it's not like something I'm like oh shit it's coming out i need that like oh they dropped, i, I like, like some of them i had tommy Fo tommy hilfiger like snap away pants i used to put basketball in they had tommy hilfiger snap away pants that's <laughs> funny My son. well i can't really answer this question from the ages and 90s because i was born in 1990 so Throughout that whole 90s, I was still a kid. Like, I just don't really know much. What I'm about, not very knowledgeable like, on it. Oshkosh Bagosh. No. No, you wouldn't fuck with it? No. I had a few, like, polo shirts, uh, Nautica. Tommy Hilfiger. Thing. That's what I'm going I with. never had a Tommy Hilfiger shit. But I've seen, like, a lot of the old retro shit. The button-ups, the button-ups are fire. I had Tommy Sheets. Was... Yeah, I, I can't really, I can't relate to any of this shit. That's my shit. Anyway. I can relate to, like, Rockaway, Fat Farm. Well, we know he can relate to Rockaway because... I got fucking number one of last year. It's the rock. Number one last year. It's the rocky bastard. All right, well, are we done here? I think that's the last one, right? Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. All uh, right. Shout out and let's do the sneaker battle. So, KB won last week, so she goes first. <laughs> the fuck? 
roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back now for the secret battle, and I'm wearing Adidas, obviously, because that's what you guys voted for. Rose and yellows, yes, we all know what they look like. Alright, well, see you guys later, make sure you vote for me. Peace. <laughs> Video montage. That's it? I'm done? Alright, and then I go. There you go, yeah. Now that that's over with, I don't have to worry about anybody slapping my shoe out of my hand. Is there a shoe tray in here? What the fuck's in here? Not a shoe tray. Oh wow. Maybe the cardboard. Maybe my e-cigarette. Oh shit, look at that. It's gonna smell like feet later. Ugh. Uh, Ronnie Feig, Ultra Boost, Mid, <clears throat> Aspen. Man, hair hanging off it. You know what it is. I honestly believe those are the best Ultra Boost Mid collab. They might be the best Ultra Boost collab. ever. Yeah, like, that shit's so fire though. Not even- I fell collab. in love with them like as soon as I seen like photos of the shit. I was so lucky to get up here. We're running low on time here. Are we? Yeah. Why? My battery's gonna die. Oh no. This is my entry. Adidas. EQT. Oddity Lux. Oddity. Fire. Why you keep turning it like that? Every panel's different animal print. It's just dope. Fuck with it. And that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shout out to the group chat, shout out to Chillin', shout out to uh, OG Fam, shout out to fucking, fucking officially, what else we got? Shout out to everybody that fucks with us on the supporters, thumbs up only, no thumbs down, let's make this into a habit. Uh, put a friend on. It was me, it was me. Put a friend <laughs> on to watch the shit, we need new viewers, spread the word. We don't need no new viewers, we need new subscribers. We need new subscribers, subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't and you're in like two seasons already, like watching, like what the fuck you doing? Like subscribe. Stop lurking. Already. Stop lurking. Subscribe, yeah. motherfucker. Let us know you watching. Like leave more comments, questions below. All that good shit. Shout out Red Bull. Shout out to everybody Should that fuck with us. One. Shout out to Paolo, Corey. Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're done. We out of here. Peace. <laughs>